passing vision every single place. But yeah, sometimes you just have to just go up and just take your points, especially late in the game. Give me Shaq. <laughs> uh, of course, we know how you play. 62-62, under two minutes to go. Bucks trying to sweep the T-Wolves. I don't know what multiverse we're in. Let's head down to India. Only about 30% of our community members had Bucks Gaming winning this series. And right now, if you go ahead and look at who's here in Indianapolis, it's pretty much all Bucks Gaming fans. Right now, every single shot, every stop that they get, they go crazy. Offensive rebound, they go crazy. Minute 34 left. Let's see if Bucks Gaming can get the sweep and head to the finals. I can't believe Cook shot it early, but Dimes is right there. He's been their security blanket here in the fourth. Under 90 seconds to go for Milwaukee. Do they got an answer? It's been a while since Bear scored. He's maybe got three points here over the last six minutes or so. Yeah, and credit to Cease, just taking away what Bear does best, is just making sure he can facilitate. Cease, one of the best back-end PNR defenders in the league, uh, just amazing, about averaging two steals a game, and he's really making them think. Slaughter able to get that one to go, ties it up at 64. Coming up on a minute to go. What a story this would be if the Bucks can somehow pull it out. Cooks to Johnny, the rookie. Shot clock winding down. Back to Cooks, back to Johnny! Shoots a late. Oh my God. Dives with another rebound. Good patience here by Milwaukee. Trying to take the lead. Shot clock again. Coming a factor. Johnny, this time shoots a late. And someone threw Dimes out of the paint. It's crazy because like it was an early from Cooks. Don's got the offensive rebound. This time's a late from Johnny gets the offensive rebound. And that's a tough one to not be able to capitalize on. I mean, yeah, Dimes is down there fighting for his life. He's given them every single second chance opportunity. The Bucks are just not capitalizing. Thought he's gonna hit him with the worm. Instead, he got thrown out of there. Like getting thrown out of a ring. 64-64. Can't take the final shot. Little hesitation from Bear. To the elbow, no, rebound by Slot, and they Good. foul him. It puts him at the line, but Kai had an opportunity oh, if that yeah. pass, that timing came through to where they would have knocked down a three. Whereas it's just a smart foul by the Bucks. Now they can kind of game it. You wonder if the t Wolves are gonna try and foul here and just send them back to the line, play that whole free throw battle, especially in this close Well, you ball. want the ball last. That's what we do now. We'll see if the t Wolves trying to play good defense here. They got a two-point lead, 7.9 to go. Dirk, put on your coaching cap. What you doing? I mean, I'm going with just like your normal pick and roll set, run a wrap through. There has been some openings, and specifically when Dimes gets the ball, right? They've been saying to him, be pretty aggressive. But if you've noticed that Cooks and Johnny are doing an excellent job of those off-ball dexes, and who better at the time of pass than Dimes himself? That's something that I might be looking for here. So could come down to Dimes looking to try to either tie the ball game or make the pass for the win. A three would win it. Five seconds to go for the Bucks. Cooks down to Dimes. Dimes shows the patience. He lost it. Timeout Bucks, and they only got point six. Wow, he got the bump? That is nuts. That is not what you want to see right here. Dimes can't believe it. He thought he had Slaughter beat down there. And now they only got point six to go. I feel like we've been here before against the 76ers in the turn where Cooks kind of got it. They wound up sending Johnny on that hash cut. Unfortunately, he was with, you know, pretty much rebound. He had, you know, bad images, GGs. So I'm wondering what we're going to see here. Got to get it in. And they flick it up and no. Game two, barely going to the T-Wolves. A 14 to 14 fourth quarter. And we got a game three a common Bear the Beast with 21, leading the T-Wolves in scoring. Johnny had 22, Dimes with 20, but it wasn't enough. That bump at the end, Joe, that's nuts. That's rattling. 